We have like a super bear set here. I would probably never have shown this to you, but I keep getting a lot of comments that you guys want to see me make the rooms. This I've actually never used before. This is actually gift wrap paper. And if you can see, this is like super cute little marshmallow twists. I bought this from Spoonflower, which is a site where they sell fabric designed by individual artists. And now for the walls of my room. So my room only has three walls and a floor. There's no ceilings and there's no fourth wall. <laughs> so this is roughly what I'm going to do. I'm going to pin the walls together and then like either pin or glue it to the floor. And I get these from the dollar store, so each one is one dollar. But you can also use cardboard. That is a lot more affordable. But I just like the way foam core feels. So I'm going to glue this onto the three walls to make the wallpaper. And then if I have any leftover, I'm going to piece it together and make the floor. You don't need to cover this whole entire board. Because in reality, your dolls are like this high, and you'll probably never need like this much height. So I think I'm just going to go up to like 16 inches. Exacto knife. Now you could also use scissors. Now let's just glue this down. You're going to need a lot of glue stick. Let's get all that air bubble out. For this side wall, I'm actually going to turn this board this way. I just like making a big room so like you can fit like 30 shoppies in there. So that's one wall and this is shorter and now I'm going to make another one of the same thing. Okay now I'm going to do the same thing and cut 16 inches. So here's the three walls. I might have just enough to make a floor. I think I'll do. So let's glue this onto the last piece of foam core. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I put these walls together, although I do not recommend it. I use these pins. You can also use glue stick, which I think is safer for kids. However, because I need to be able to take these sets apart, I prefer to use pins. I kind of just guess where the pin is going. And here you see the pin coming through, and there's the pin. And it's holding these two walls together. I find that these pins stick to these foam cores really well. And that's also the reason why I use foam core instead of cardboard. And let me sh show you. Here's another one. And it's going to go pin right through the center. Again, if you're making this for yourself at home, you can just use hot glue and just permanently glue these walls together. But because I'm so limited on space, I have to be able to just take these walls apart and make a new set. The tricky part is the floor, so you can pin it from the bottom side up, or you can simply just tape the outside down. Okay, so I have these three corners together, and this is just by using pins and a little bit of scotch tape, but this is pretty good for me. And I can take this apart in like three seconds. So one of the subs questions a while ago, they asked me where I keep all of these shoppies rooms. I keep some of them, but a lot of them I just take off the walls and just put the furnitures away because otherwise I will have like no room to like sleep. And this is why I said earlier that 16 inches is tall enough because this is like a huge room for her. You guys can definitely make the walls shorter and make the room smaller so that it fits in your room. Okay, let's just see where I want to put all her furniture. So this is something I bought from eBay. This is perfect size for shoppies. And then this thing is from Walmart. I think they're for 6 inch dolls, like 6 inch American Girl dolls. But it came with this cute little fluffy little seat too. This is another thing that I bought from eBay. I think the hardest part is just finding furniture that fits them. And then this giant bag of marshmallows. I think she can use one as a pillow. Here's the table and these sparkly little pink chairs. 
This is from the Lori Dolls collection. And let's not forget she has some blue. So I have this empty Shopkins food fair can. I'm going to use this as a trash can. This one's from the dollar store. It's like very popular. Unfortunately, the cabinets do not open. But the good thing about this is that it's wood. So it can be easily painted with some cheap acrylic paint. And let's quickly just paint this. I'm going to do white so that it matches with her bed and her shelf. But you can also do pink or blue for Marsha. Let's not forget the sides. Let's let this dry. So while that's drying, let's work on this bed. So this mattress does come off, which makes it easier to customize. What I'm going to do is cover it with this marshmallow s'more fabric that I also found from Spoonflower. This sheet is the smallest size they had, and I thought this was so cute. So I think I'm going to use this as bed sheets. And for the comforter, I got these jumbo marshmallow prints. And let me take this off. If you want, you can take off this flower print so it doesn't show through, but I think it's okay. For this, I'm going to use glue gun. Glue the corner. You won't really see this part, so it's okay if it's a little rough. Okay, so on this side, I'm going to trim off. And this way I can make like a little square pillow. Glue this down. So I don't think there is like an up or a down. Put it here. Woohoo! Put it here. We can probably make one long pillow. Or we can make two little square pillows. If you want to put it in like a couch. Let's put another pillow here. Now she has two fluffy pillows. And now for the comforter. I have this old rag. That is blue, and I think that'll be perfect. So I think the comforter just needs to be this long. I think the width is okay. I kind of want it to like drape off the side. I'm just gonna use tape to mark. So I have the towel on the bottom, and this print face down because we're gonna turn it inside out. And I'm just gonna sew along this edge. You can't see it clearly on the camera, but I can kind of see it here. And here where I have the tape to guide me and start sewing. Okay, so I have most of the borders done. You need to leave an opening so you can flip it inside out. But what I have to do is trim off the excess right now. And now moment of truth. Let's see. Gently flip it inside out. So this is kind of a fluffy comforter. And then I'm going to sew this close. And this fits perfectly. So I do like how it drapes just a little bit off the side. Hey, she looks kind of comfy in here. And just to add some more cute fluffy stuff. I thought we'd give her a bunch of stuffed animals. And these are just keychain plushes. So this one's the Rila Kuma bear. Let's just cut this off. And then I also got Totoro. Let's just cut this part off. And this pink poop emoji. And this Domo. Let's cut off the tag. And this tofu. A banana. And this cute little turtle with the pink shell. And these super cute little tiny teddy bears. I think I found these on eBay. And they're meant to be like keychains too. I'm sorry, this one's a bunny, not a teddy bear. And these are like perfect size for dolls. So now I got all these stuffed animals, and we'll just sort them later. 
And because Marsha likes to make plushies, she's gonna need a sewing kit. And in case you're curious, these are dollhouse sewing kits. So I did not make this, but I did find this like on eBay. And look at how cute this is. They even have a miniature little measuring tape. And scissors and needles and thread and buttons. Set that here in case she has to like patch up one of her teddies. And if you have these, I love using these as like toy chests. You can put it here or on the side. Or what I'm gonna do is flip these over so it can be like a bench in front of a window. So let's move this to this side. And I think I'm gonna put a window up here, so I'm gonna put a post-it here to mark where I want it. And let's just check with Marsha. Let's make the window a little higher. But this is the lowest the window should go, so let's... So this lets me know where I'm gonna cut the window. Oops, I forgot I had this one too. And then I did a quick review of this for my Lori dolls haul. Definitely think there's some cute accessories that we can use in this room. So these marshmallows on skewers are definitely for Marsha. And this camping map. Okay, this can definitely go in her camping gear. And how perfect! This is a s'more set. Let's keep that here. Aw, a scrapbook for when she goes camping. A thermos, a compass, a lamp, some crackers, ooh, some canned foods, peanut butter, some toast, some sodas, and this popcorn, and this ice chest filled with ice, paper plates, and a water bottle, a headlamp. This would come in handy. Let's keep these stuff, and let's keep this for a kitchen video. And this guitar, somebody suggested this should go to Jonah, so... Let's keep this for Jonah. And this thing, this is like a little desk lamp, but it looks like a shoppy size floor lamp. Okay, for lights, let's try this Christmas light. These are like mini Christmas lights. They're like perfect size for shoppies. So let me put some batteries in here. Okay, I got batteries in here. Ooh. I think I really like this. I think this will like remind her of like the stars when she's camping and making s'mores. And this is also from the dollar store. And I think it's like really cute. So I'm gonna make this sign. So this is just to guide me. Let's make the letters big enough so there's space for the marshmallows. And the alternative is you could just glue it onto this wall, but I'm gonna do it on the board so I can like move it around. Okay, actually I'm gonna use pencil because I don't want these black lines to show through. I'm gonna draw where I'm gonna cut this out. And I just put this scrap piece of wood underneath to protect the table. With a very sharp X-Acto knife, I'm gonna cut. Please be careful using an exacto. And for those of you that are really young, please, please ask an adult to do this because you can really, really hurt yourself with this. Here's a progress shot. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Let me just double check I spell this correctly. And if you're learning how to do cursive writing, I'm pretty sure that's not how you do an S in cursive, but... And let's add some glue. And also because this was in pencil, you can clean up where there's a lot of pencil markings so it doesn't show through. Let's add the marshmallows. This is the funnest part. Here's the progress. This is actually really fun. 
All right, so the glue has to dry. So let's set this aside. In the meantime, let's make some little square pillows for the chairs. Now we can make two mini pillows. I'm just gonna sew along the edge. I've got most of these three corners. I still need this opening here. Let me just cut off this barcode. Let's flip this inside out. It's gonna be the world's smallest pillow. And I'm gonna stuff it with some cotton balls. You don't need a lot because this is a teeny tiny pillow. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this shut. Here's the second of these little tiny s'more pillows with my leftover fabric. So I think these are like perfect for these plastic chairs. I know these are like really uncomfortable to sit on. So this window, I've been asked where I get it from. I got this one, I think from Hobby Lobby. These are like dollhouse windows. And this is like plastic, so it feels like real glass. and. It and the cool part is that this does open. Because these are temporary walls, I can take these off. Careful. So now I have this post-it here where I marked where I want this window. And that's kind of accurate. I'm just gonna do my best to make this straight. And then I'm gonna use a pencil and just mark where I'm gonna cut this window out. Post-its out. So oh, I have the opening mark, and now I'm gonna carefully with an exacto cut. Let's cut this window out. Let's just see if this fits. <laughs> Perfect! So this just fits right into this wall. And if you want, you can just like glue this down before you put it in, but this kind of fits quite snugly. <laughs> okay, so I just put this wall back in. I think this is perfect for her. And this is like a really cool bench she can sit here. And I found this little tiny like figure that artists use to like learn to draw. And I found these marshmallow twists. These are actual candies. I haven't figured out what I want to do with this one. Okay, I have an idea. I think we should give Marsha a pet, and we don't have a lot of cats, so... Let's give her a kitty, and I think this color fits her too. <laughs> I have this leftover rag, and... I think I'm going to make a little kitty bed with this twist on the border. I think that'll be cute. I have this border glued together. Now for the inside part, I have this strip of rag again. And I'm just gonna roll it up. This is for those of us who aren't really into sewing. I'm actually just gonna glue this to the inside. So this is kind of like a shortcut way to make a little pet bed. <laughs> like here. You can also just make like a pillow and just stuff it in here, but... So here's my little super quick pet bed. And I think that fits her perfectly. Keep her in front of the window. Now I need to make something to hang these purses on. What I'm going to do is take this thumbtack. Just going to put a marshmallow over it. Punch it through. And that is how you make a little knob. I can put a purse here. Oops, I need to make this higher. And I got this mini dream catcher that I thought matches Marsha. Because it's like white and blue while it's missing pink. Okay, I got this online. I thought it would be a lot smaller. But I think this will be okay. I'm going to try to hang it like on this corner. So it's like above her little chair. I'm just going to take off this keychain because it's like really heavy. And now I am going to attach this to this empty ceiling. Actually, I just let this dry overnight. 
And I think it looks pretty good. I can also put this over the window. And also, I remember she has this VIP card. I just cut out this rectangular piece of foam core from my scrap foam core and just glued this to the foam core with regular glue and just glued a bunch of marshmallows around. I could just use thumb tags. These are clear so it wouldn't be as visible. You can see it's just sitting on top of a thumb tag. I think I might need one in the middle. Now it's just gonna sit on these clear thumb tags. I think that's okay for now. And now same thing with the stars. I think I'm gonna put these right on top of the name. I could probably hide the battery pack behind that bookshelf too. And then for this, I think I'm gonna put it on top of this wall. Because there's not a lot of things going on here. So this is going to sit on top of these clear thumbtacks. And then I'm just going to put one more on top. Because I don't have a ceiling, what I did is I just used this thumbtack, punched it into this foam core, and this fishing wire is basically just holding this up midair. So it kind of looks like it's dangling from the ceiling. I think that's all the DIYs in here. I know there were a couple and this is a super long video. So if I do a behind the scenes room tour video again, I don't think I need to go through like how to make a window and how to like make the walls. In the future, I think these videos will be a lot shorter. Sorry if this video was like extra, extra long. Okay, be sure to watch the room tour. Bye!